Hey everybody, welcome back. I got the um, European cab kit, the uh, Reserve de Chateau kit that um, I'm getting ready to bottle. Here it is. I'm going to transfer it off of the sediment into this, you know, bucket. And I have my bottles all ready to go. Here's my bottles. And I'm going to start corking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wine, transfer it out of the carboy into the bucket. I'm going to get that process started and I'll be right back. Alright, you can see the wine starting to transfer. And you know one of the most important things I forgot to say, but I did anyway, is to make sure that spigot is off when transfer. So, the wine's being transferred now and pretty soon we're going to be bottling. One. See if you can see the sediment on the bottom. All right, so you don't have to sit around watching wine siphon. We'll be right back when it's done. All right, so I transferred the wine over, and I have a little bit of that wine here. There you can see the color. It's really wonderful against this white background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste it real quick. It tastes really nice. It's a, um, it has a really great cab flavor to it. Clarity is very nice. All right, so what I'm going to get started doing is bottling and corking. Put that down. Now I have this corker that my beautiful wife got me for Christmas and I'm going to bottle. If you, you see I don't have my bottling wand and hose hooked up that's because uh, I misplaced it. So what I'm going to be doing is the same thing I did in the last video holding the bottles underneath and filling them that way. Alright, so let me get set up and we'll get started with that. All right, so I'm going to be putting a bottle onto here. Turning that on. I'm trying my best not to spill any of it. I'm going to fill them just about up to the neck, like that. Alright, so I'll be back when all my bottles are filled. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this process real quick. This is my brand new corker. It works awesome. So much better than the lever corker. Here's my cork. Put it in the top. Put the bottle in the bottom. Press the handle down. I have a bottle with a cork in it. Let's see that again. Take a bottle, throw a cork in, throw the bottle in. Boom! There you have it. Alright, so I'm going to bottle up the rest of them, cork them, and we'll be back. Pretty cool. Alright, so I have to tell you, this floor corker is amazing. This is the best one out there too. And the reason for that is because this one could also cork the magnum size, the bigger size bottles. Where a lot of them can't unless you build a special platform for them. But this one here is awesome. Anyhow, there's my bottles. And I have a, a gallon jug over there. So I got roughly 25 bottles. 
and you know for quality control purposes I am going to check this cup or glass of wine to see that it tastes as good as the one that was at the beginning well I have to say that usually I'm not a huge fan of cabs but this one here is amazing I would highly recommend that that could stand up to a nice steak dinner and uh, other you know nice stews you know red meat steaks things like that lamb even very good very nice I definitely make this one again I highly recommend it all right so I hope you've enjoyed making this wine with me or watching me make it and hopefully inspire you to make some and uh, this wine is actually a gift for a friend so um, after I finish my quality control glass here we'll be good to go but anyhow stay tuned and uh, check out my videos please subscribe if you're interested in making wine and Italian cooking and natural things like herbalism and other things like that if you like the video please like it subscribe tell your friends tell your grandmother sister brother mother anybody and uh, cheers I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.